A surprising first day of testimony inside the Amarillo Federal Courthouse as Bart Rager's bank fraud trial gets underway. Good evening, I'm Lauren Motter. I'm Brian Mudd. Federal prosecutors called Rager's former chief financial officer Shane Smith to the witness stand and he took most of the blame for the Rager Dykes Auto Group's demise. KMAX Laura Lawhead was in court all day. Laura Smith had a lot to say. Yeah, Brian and Lauren, Shane Smith was on the stand for hours today, and during parts of his testimony, Bart Rager looked away or kept his eyes on the ground. Today was actually the first time the former chief financial officer has seen Rager since the auto group first went bankrupt back in 2018. The prosecution using Smith's testimony to show the state of Rager Dykes before the collapse. Smith admitting to committing fraud crimes, including check hiding, floor planning, and others as a way to keep the company alive as it was running out of money. Smith even saying he still loved Rager and he never told Rager about these schemes until after the bankruptcy. IBC Bank loaned the auto group $10 million and the prosecution says Rager diverted more than $1.7 million of these dollars into his personal accounts as a way to reimburse himself for the money he had poured into the bank years prior. And Smith testified he was surprised and frustrated by Rager's plans to use the loan money in his personal accounts because the company desperately needed it. The prosecution bringing up an email Rager sent in May 2017 just to Smith and Dykes, saying Rager wanted to keep his plan for the loan, quote, 100 million percent confidential. Today, we also heard witness testimony from the president and CEO of IBC Bank, an attorney for IBC who helped draft the loan agreement with Smith, along with a loan officer who used to work for the bank. All of them told jurors they had no idea Rager planned to use the loan for personal expenses, and had they known, they would never have given it. The defense countering, saying because of Shane Smith, Rager believed he was allowed to reimburse himself. Now, in the upcoming days, the defense says it will show evidence that Rager is not guilty and rather Shane Smith is to blame. They're hoping to send the case to the jury by the end of this week. And if convicted, Rager could face up to 90 years in federal prison. Reporting from Amarillo, I'm Laura Lawhead, KMAC News.